was wild. Yeah, you're doing a great job, Zoe. Proud of you. If you ask anyone what their biggest beauty concern in quarantine is, 10 out of 10 people will tell you it's the hair situation, whether that's the distance from their colorist and their roots growing in, or the overgrowth that happens when you go months and months on end without a trim. I, for one, was dealing with it big time at the very beginning of all of this because I kept delaying my haircut, not realizing that salons were gonna be shuttered for two plus months. And it really left me in a situation in which my hair was way overgrown, my ends were super dead. So I decided to call in the big guns by way of Dove celebrity hairstylist, Patrick Kyle, who helped me cut my own hair. Keep watching to see what happened, and the best part is that you can take away some of his hair cutting tips to try on your own without having to invite him into your bathroom. My name is Patrick, I've been doing hair for about 15 years, and then I also do my own clients here at my apartment. Hair cutting at home for dummies like me, <laughs> what are like the bare minimum things that you need to know before you take a set of scissors to your ends? Basically, we're dealing with a dry haircut, and so since you have smoothed out your hair, it's a really good place to start. If you have access to thinning shears, I'm telling you, this is going to prevent you from making a lot of mistakes. But all good. We will, we will deal with it. All right. Because there, there, there's a solution to everything here. And then you also want to have a comb. You want to have some sort of detangling spray or a smooth and shine, like a heat protection spray. I am a huge fan of this Dove heat and shine protection spray. Part it in the middle, going all the way back to the crown. From that crown, we have this occipital bone that sort of is like, is the connector between the middle of our neck. You want to sort of like get that part as best you can. You've got your sections. It's parted perfectly in the middle. Lean your head down. So you see how this line right here is created. Whenever you have your hair parted in two, you've got this line right here. Mm -hmm. What we're going to be doing with your scissors, mm -hmm. but what you're going to be doing is you're going to be cutting into it. Okay. So we are not focused on any kind of line. In fact, lines are our worst enemy right now. Okay. We just want to sort of mindfully cut into that hair and, and maybe get your shears to cut into that line, maybe like a half inch because all you're trying to do is just dust the ends. You don't want to get caught in this like mind frame of like, I'm going to sort of like make this so perfect. Okay, here we go. Mind you, if I was left my own devices, I, there was a scissor dropped at the start. I would have just hacked off the bottom of my hair. So I'm already like, right. Then comb it one more time and then tilt your head forward and start. Remember, we just want to focus on a half inch into that hair. Yeah, that's 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 great. That looks amazing. <laughs> you're so simple. Oh, you're doing such a great job. I'm proud of you. Yeah, I love how you were able to just sort of like gently kind of comb it down with your fingers and you're letting gravity do the work. But like I can see that it looks less dead already. Definitely. Yes, perfect. That's great. So you're, so you're just targeting that. Okay, so now we're ready to start the other side. It was wild. Yeah? You're doing a great job, Zoe. Proud of you. Does it look even? Wow, that looks great. How are you feeling about it? I feel good. I feel like this side looks a little bit blunt back here. Okay. How do I fix that? You, you can do exactly what you were doing, but just focus when you put your hair forward, focus on the hair that's closest to your chest, because that's that section. To just nick the ends just a tiny, tiny bit. And then, and then and then stop and then check it again. Yeah, that's already looking better. You're going to put your hair up into a high ponytail above your ears using, if you have them, bands, hair bands. Got it. Okay, don't even, we don't even worry about the middle part anymore. Grab your brush for this and really brush it through to try to get it as nice and even as possible. But if you're, if you feel like you, it works better with your hands, you can do that too. Cool. Awesome. Okay, so put that hairband in. I feel like Ariana Grande. Pull that up. Do it. Pull it up about like maybe five or six inches. 
and then take the rubber band and pull that up five to six inches. And if, if hair starts falling out, all good, all good. Start to take a little bit of hair off of this. So just get that hairline, get like an, like, a, like an inch of this hairline, this front hairline out of that ponytail. Do it around the sides and the back. And what you're trying to do, what you're trying to achieve is, is creating this section right here to come out of this ponytail. Take that section, pull it up with the hairband in it. Yeah, th that, that's fine, that's fine. And then pull it all the way up, put the hairband back into that section that you have, pull it all the way towards the end of your ponytail, pull that ponytail around to your front. With that section, what's coming out of that, of that ponytail right there, take your scissors and gently just cut into it. And just, again, like we're looking at half inch to an inch. You're just trying to sort of get at the split ends and then take that down and voila, you have just given yourself a long layered trim. Wow. Yeah. Man, it looks so healthy. Right? Yeah, it looks great. There you go. This is the most fail-safe way to do this. It was a lot easier than I expected. I have to. Oh, play. good. And and now you deserve a cocktail. This experience taught me that you really can do a lot for yourself at home, even if you don't have pros coming into your bathroom one-on-one -on -one like I did. You can always book an appointment, but also there are so many free resources out there of people offering tutorials, of people showing you how to do things on your own that are really, really helpful. And hopefully you learn something from my trials and tribulations. Feeling good, really happy, really a lesson in prioritizing, doing the things that make you feel good. If there's anything else you wanna see me try either at home or out in the world, please leave it in the comments below. And in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe to Well and Good. Now, my hair and I will see you later.